They're making him release two a week, Zach? I think or it's is it just, just the first this week. Two? I think it's just the first two. Did seasons one, two, or three do that? I don't know. That's I don't like that. That's disrespectful. <sighs> yeah, I mean, look, I, it's it's a kind of like quieter you start. You to, to show up the, to the max offices. I mean, I'm I'm down to protest in favor of Bill Hader whenever you Let's are. Go. I'm not. Sh- <laughs> I don't know if you want to make it out here, and we can uh, go to Warner in New York, or if we got to go out to LA. But wherever we got to go, look, the WME office. I mean, I think the the main thing to focus on here is that like Bill Hader is really, really just elevated into an incredible filmmaker. Uh, he mm-hmm. is writing, starring, directing, producing. He's the the man really behind it all here and Barry and um, that I I thought that th- third season ended in a really really incredible fashion uh, maybe you have some qualms with it but like it went from this very kind of uh, chaotic uh, and emotionally climactic moment to what's a lot quieter and more restrained here at the beginning of season four, which is to be expected. We have to reset the pieces. Barry's now in prison, stuff like that. Um, But there's just so much texture to the way that Bill Hader directs these scenes and giving you these little moments of like flashbacks to him and Fuchs when he was young or like little little moments where Bill Hader is doing some acting that I didn't even realize he was capable of. Like the, the way that he threatens that one guard is the scariest he's ever been on screen. And then later he has a scene opposite Sarah Goldberg and looks more pathetic than we've ever seen him. Um, I'm, Range. I really just think he he's doing some incredible work and setting up a very, very dark finale. Cause it does not feel like this is headed in a fun direction. Um, I'm glad Noho Hank is still around to give us some laughs. Yeah. What do you think of the uh, the circle shot on episode two? <sighs> Look, I think Noho Hank has just like the fact that him and his partner have become this whole like. Cristobal. <laughs> they've just been trying to have like a relationship amidst of all the violence and the capitation mm-hmm. <laughs> and and the news that's been going everywhere. To me, dude, since last season, Sarah Goldberg has been an absolute freaking standout. Revelation. There is yeah. an element to episode one, maybe it's in two, where she goes back home. Yes, that's episode one. And yet returns to the person <laughs> with all these allegations instead of being back home. Uh, yeah, the fact that you're mentioning how you get some behind the scenes for Stephen Root and those flashbacks, ju- you don't even need flashbacks. You just see current scenes now for her and you realize that's why you're where you're at. Yeah. Nah, dude, they've been giving her some really good stuff. They snubbed her last year. They better not snub her again this year. Um, I know. And just a whole new cast they've got going on, because it almost feels like new characters. I do agree, Noho Hank is in a completely... Like, he's still Noho, but he's he's in a... Yeah, he's he's in a relationship now. That's mm-hmm. his storyline. Uh, Henry Santa Winkler. Fe. Yeah, Henry Winkler's completely, like, on the defense now, uh, especially uh, opposite Robert. Yeah. I think they've got a good dynamic going on there. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I don't think it's going to end as happy as people have been thinking that this is. Uh, the comedy has been lost a long time ago to the degree that we normally know comedies as. Yeah. So. It's yeah. funny because, like, it, it used to be a lot more comedy forward. And now it's, yeah, it like, goofy, it's yeah. so, it, it's so, like, dark and, and uh, depressed and, and just conflicted. And then they have these comedic scenes that come in and surprise you. Like, you know, you'll you'll be in this very contemplative mood. And then Cousineau does his one-man show talking about yeah. how he and Barry met. Like, I, I love that they are able to still kind of get into these kind of absurd comedic bubbles. Uh, Stephen Root's whole speech about nicknames and stuff like that. But, yeah, like, certainly the, the focus of the show has gotten a lot more serious. I'm excited for it. It's going to be a very interesting rest of April and May because you got HBO jam packed with everything. You could say they've got Excuse it pulled you. to the max, Zach. <laughs> it's called Max now. <laughs>